Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Vincino, the Director of Public Information for St. Tammany Parish Government. Welcome to Open Mic, a monthly show where we bring you up to date on what's happening in your neighborhood and across St. Tammany Parish. Joining me now is St. Tammany Parish President Mike Cooper. President Cooper, how are you today? Doing great, Michael. Thank you. All right, so recently you delivered your State of the Parish address. Walk us through some of the highlights in the past year here in St. Tammany. Certainly, uh, as we know, 2020 was a challenging year for us. Uh, we had uh, eight storms that were in the Gulf that had its sights set on Southeast Louisiana and St. Tammany Parish. Fortunately, only one hurricane, Hurricane Zeta, did a slight brush on us in the, in the East St. Tammany Parish area. Overall, we were spared. And of course, we had the, the pandemic that uh, hit us in mid-March and had us at different levels of operations uh, throughout the year. Of course, my priority at this time was maintaining the health of our economy with the health of our community. It was certainly a difficult year, not only in St. Tammany, but across America, but there was still a lot of opportunity for good here in the North Shore. Can you explain some of the good things that happened? Certainly, uh, despite the challenges that we faced last year, we were able to initiate and maintain road projects, drainage projects, bridge projects, some that were already underway, and we were able to start and, and complete some of those projects. Also, we established funding for coastal restoration and flood protection projects along Lake Pontchartrain that, that are now in the planning stages for bringing to uh, a construction phase later this year and, and in the years to come. I'm very excited about those projects. And a project that I'm particularly proud of is we initiated the update of our comprehensive plan, which was long overdue. Our comp plan that we're operating under now is 20 years old, and we have uh, hired a, a consultant, formed a steering committee, and working throughout our community to develop an update of our comprehensive plan that will let, lay the foundation for future growth here in St. Tammany. You know, a comprehensive plan is exactly that, but can you explain why something like that is necessary for a parish government? Well, it is, it is very important because we're going to base our land use, we're going to base zoning decisions, we're going to base how to plan for infrastructure improvements in the future, so it is very important. And we want the input from our citizens and our business community to let us know how they feel they want to see St. Tammany Parish in the years to come. Obviously, 2020 was your first year as parish president. Now that COVID seems to be, uh, you, the parish government has a handle on it, what are you looking forward to most moving forward in 2021 and beyond? Well, it's, it's great to, to be at this point now. Our, our economy is thriving. We are seeing a, uh, an increase in sales tax revenue that is dedicated solely for roads, bridges, drainage, public works, and infrastructure projects and operations. So we're glad to see an, uh, an increase in that. We're also seeing an increase in building permit applications. So with, we have a growth in, in building and we're seeing uh, our economy thriving uh, with the sales tax revenue increase and, and an uptick in uh, building permits. Uh, while we do have challenges in the future, I feel that uh, we're on the right track to uh, having a successful year this year. You mentioned before the health of the economy with the health of the community. I heard you previously mentioning how important and how nice it is to finally see communities and organizations getting back together. Do you want to elaborate on that? Absolutely. Uh, one of the, the biggest concerns I had was the, the nonprofits and service organizations that relied on events and activities to raise money for needy causes uh, were pretty much uh, postponed or canceled last year. And I'm happy to see that, that these organizations and, and nonprofits are able to ho host these events this year. Uh, with the summer months coming and, and the fall, we're already seeing uh, these events being planned that will help uh, raise money for, us, for all the great causes that we have here in our communities. Do you want to offer a message to the community moving forward, what they should expect from parish government um, in, in the weeks and days and, and months to come? Well, absolutely. We're uh, uh, we're full force here at St. Tammany Parish Government at Coop Drive. All of our departments are, are operating at 100%. Uh, we're here to serve our citizens. Uh, we're continuing to have road, bridge, and drainage projects moving forward. And our citizens can expect that uh, as we, we move forward uh, this year and in the years to come. 
And if you're looking for more information on the comprehensive plan, the new comprehensive plan, that's New Directions 2040, you can go to newdirections2040.com to find any updates and all information. Coming up, we'll talk with our leader of emergency management here in St. Tammany Parish. Stay with us. When America's playground, New Orleans, Louisiana, wants to go out and play, where does it go? Full steam ahead to the North Shore of Lake Pontchartrain. What the Big Easy has known for more than a century about the North Shore is that there's a whole other world on the other side. The outside world. A place to play. Commune with nature. Where is the Honey Island Swamp Monster? Out there. <laughs> He's just out there. He's somewhere out there. A place to feel the wind in your hair and the sun on your face. On the water, everybody's friendly. When they wave, they use the entire hand. Going outside on the North Shore means getting wild. Hi, right, Mike. Get set. Go. Okay, start running. Serpentine, serpentine. Now come back, come back. Serpentine, serpentine. Outside means getting some major air and some serious downtime. The North Shore of Lake Pontchartrain has a history of adventure and a tradition of doing things differently. And today, St. Tammany Parish is still its own place, unlike any other. Historically speaking, the reason it became the hip place to escape to in the 19th century is still the reason why people come today. Nature. Healing and exhilarating nature. Adventure can be found in the hundreds of miles of waterways and more than 80,000 acres of wildlife refuge. In fact, the only thing you can escape on the North Shore is adventure. Because here, adventure is calling. Joining us now is St. Tammany Parish Government Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, Clarence Poe. Clarence, how are you today? Very good, Mike. Thanks for having me here. We're happy to have you. We're into hurricane season now. What has St. Tammany Parish been doing to get ready? Well, quite a bit. You know, we do a lot every year, and everybody has seen the predictions that NOAA has put out, where 16 to 20 named storms, which, a uh, uh, matter of fact, six, uh, six to 10 of those can be hurricanes, three to five can be major hurricanes. So we know based on what we had last year, last year we had 31 depressions and 30 named storms and 14 hurricanes. So they predict these busy seasons. They did it last year, doing it again this year for an active season. So it takes a lot to get ready for hurricane season here in the parish. We've had quite a few different training seminars with our ELC liaison training that works in the Emergency Operations Center. We've held a government department director's uh, tabletop exercise and we had our first responders meetings. So we've done a lot to prepare for hurricane season. We're already there, so we're ready for hurricane season. We've surveyed all of our shelters. They're ready to go. So we've done a lot to get ready for this year. Would you say it's a year-round preparation? Yes, it is. I mean, it's one of those things to where you just, you have to have some type of guideline to go by. You know, we keep all those things in check every year. We know what we have to check all the coordination, all the meetings and everything, because if we don't, we're going to miss something. Okay, so we look at all those and uh, every year there's something else added to that list in preparation for hurricane season. And President Cooper, just as St. Tammany Parish is getting prepared, how important is it for our neighbors and our citizens to get ready? Absolutely. Uh, I first want to say that I want to commend Clarence and his team for keeping, uh, keeping us alert and keeping us prepared uh, on a parish level so that we can serve our citizens and we ask our citizens to uh, take the precautions uh, as we normally do. You know, those that have lived here all their life and certainly we had enough practice last year to, to pre prepare by uh, having food, water and other necessities available to them uh, in the event uh, of a storm. So we ask them to be prepared. Uh, we also, of course, activate our sandbagging operations uh, across the parish that makes uh, sandbags available to our citizens uh, in, in events uh, like this. So uh, we've converted to a self-serve model which allows our citizens to uh, either bring their shovels or use the shovels on hand and uh, bag their own uh, sandbags 
and we're there to assist them uh, in, uh, in this cause. So we're here to assist our citizens, but we also ask them to be prepared uh, for any type of storm that may come our way between now and particularly November 30th. And Clarence, we're obviously still within the pandemic. Has that changed how you guys plan and, and create protocol for hurricanes? Absolutely, especially when it comes to uh, sheltering. You know, when we open up these shelters, then you know a lot of people are in close contact with one another. We know that COVID is still going on. It has not went anywhere. So our this year planning included a lot of different adjustments in our sheltering operations to where it, typically we have anywhere 15 to 20 feet between families. We want to try to increase that because we've doing, we're doing pretty good when it comes to COVID right now. When we look at our hospitals and how many people are on vents, we're doing great. We just want to maintain that and keep that and not see another surge happen. So if we happen to open up shelter, if we have to open up shelter, we will, and we'll keep those families spread out as, as much as we can. Can you elaborate a little more on the efforts here in St. Tammany this day that we've taken to battle COVID-19? Absolutely. We've done a lot with COVID, I mean, from the start. Uh, back in March, going into April, we know that we went to a, uh, our coup plan, our continuity of government uh, plan, to ensure that our, those things that we're required to do by parish government, those things, those essential functions continue. Those essential personnel that provide those functions continue to do those jobs, even if they have to do them remotely. And we've done a good job at that. So we've done a lot with those. We provided a lot of your uh, PPE, your personal protective gear to uh, all your first responders, your health care agencies, even the schools. So we've done a lot of that, and we've kept some on hand just in case we have another spike. So we've done that. We provided testing across the parish, too. We've alternate to both sides of the parish, the east side of the parish one week, west side of the parish the next week. Well, it's gotten to the point now to where testing has faded off. No one wants to be tested, so now we're in that vaccination stage. So, and we'll continue to do that. Now, the numbers, that's what we're asking our citizens to do. We want to get people vaccinated. Right now, we're probably looking at probably 36% of our citizens have received, has been vaccinated. So when you look at that in numbers, we're talking about maybe about 94,000 who's received the first dose and probably right about 90,000 who's received the second dose. So we're ensuring that we'll continue to that, provide that resource to the parish, but even the community sites, what we're doing right now, we also, if you can't make it to those, then reach out to your pharmacist. You can even go to Walgreens and get vaccinated. So those, those resources are available here in the parish right now. President Cooper, St. Timothy Parish has taken so many strides forward towards this pandemic being COVID-19 and a high vaccination rate in addition to a high population rate, which really shows the strength of this parish. What do you want to say to the community? Well, I want to thank our community, uh, our citizens for uh, getting us to this point of, of the pandemic. We're, the pandemic. The pandemic is still upon us, but I want to thank them for getting us to this point. Uh, our hospitalizations are low at this point. The, the positivity rates are low. Those that are taking advantage of the vaccine and getting a vaccination is rising. And it's, it's because of the personal responsibility that our citizens are taking to do this. So I want to thank them for that. Roll up your sleeves, get the vaccine, and it will help us move forward in the weeks and months to come in opening our schools to full capacity, opening our businesses to uh, full capacity, and having all the events and activities that we're hoping to uh, have uh, this year. So Clarence, you're obviously on the forefront when it comes to emergency preparedness and leading this parish through a hurricane season, but if a community wants you guys to come out and help them and learn about what can be offered, is that available? Absolutely. We're available to come out and do hurricane outreach brief or just emergency management brief on where we are, what we do, and what we're responsible for. I don't care if it's homeowners association, businesses, or agencies, we're out there and we're available. We also ask all of our citizens to make sure that they prepare for hurricane season and they did sign up for Alert St. Tammany. Any final message for our neighbors uh, in, amidst hurricane season? Just uh, make sure that you prepare for the season, include everybody, even the kids. Give them a role to play when it comes to preparing for hurricane season. That way it's a family effort because guess what? The kids are gonna keep you on track. 
Okay, so make sure you prepare for hurricane season this year. President Cooper, Clarence, I just wanted to thank you both for your time today and your transparency for all of our neighbors here in St. Tammany. Remember, this is your chance to ask President Cooper questions. So send us yours at stpgov.org or via email through openmic at stpgov.org. We'll see you next time.